Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing Monster High's Sweet Screams Frankie. Um, Sweet Screams Frankie is a Target exclusive. Uh, she also comes in with um, Sweet Screams Jackie Lara. Um, they are a, it's a two set. The artwork happens to have been done by a really awesome fan art artist by the name of Rotodisc. Um, on the internet, uh, they have a Tumblr, they, I think they have a face, I, yeah, I'm not sure if they have a Facebook, I believe they also have a DeviantArt, um, they did all the artwork for the book, as well as the box, um, so this is from the box, it's really cool, uh, I happen to be a big fan of Rotodisc's work, so, upon finding out that Rotodisc did the sweet screen stuff, I had to have it. And then on the back here is a bit of the tale of Sweet Screams, and you see Sweet Screams, Frankie, along with Sweet Screams, what's it? That's right. You heard right. What's it got a makeover? Uh, he's a candy. And you also get Candy Count Fabulous with Dracula. So let's get this box open here. Um, as I said, they are a Target exclusive, which means that they're only available at Target. Um, you can get them there for 20 Four ninety nine. Um, they aren't available at all targets yet. Uh, some people have already found them, like myself. Then there are other people who still have yet to find them at their targets. Um, just be patient. They are coming out. It's just a matter of when shipment happens, really. And a lot of the companies, a lot of the targets haven't done their reset resets for. Their toy aisles yet. Okay, so here is the what it looks like on the inside. You can see there's more sweet screams ranking art down here. It's kind of Alice in Wonderland almost, really, in that aspect of it's kind of trippy, kind of fun. It's also I would call it like a candy Lolita style. Um, that's just what I think it looks like. Other people might have other opinions, but I think it's a Lolita style but with candy. Now in this box in particular, this box box style, they actually hid the part of the stand in the back along with hairbrush, which is actually I think a neat kind of way to do it. Um, so as you can see in the box here, Watts it's down here, and he's in little candy form, so it's a candy purse. And candy bats. Then she also comes with a book which talks about sweet screams. And her stand bottom is right here too. Stands are so easy to put together these days from uh, Mattel because of the fact that they've already put the part that holds the doll on a lot of the stands so it makes it a lot easier um snap means it's together pretty simple um i actually like that they're doing that now because it makes it a lot easier i used to have a tough time figuring out how the um piece to hold went on and brush with skullette not much to the brush. They didn't really change it. Although it would have been cool if they had changed it for the Sweet Screams and made it kind of candy-like. And then here is the Sweet Screams book with art from Rotodisc. Um, and it kind of, just you kind of see it goes through and it tells you a story. And, um, tells you about their trip and more art. Just I, I love this art. It's so awesome. And here's more art. And then on the bag it says to be continued. Um which means which could mean a number of things. Um besides the fact that it's a there's Dracula story. There's speculation that there may be other Sweet Screams dolls coming out in the future. No confirmation. But who knows? 
And here's little What's It in candy form, which is really cute. It's, he kind of looks like a, like a peppermint. Um, it's really adorable. I, I actually really like this version. Um, and here is the candy bag. And there's no real kind of, I'm trying to see if there's any way to really open it. It looks like it, okay, it's split slightly, but you can't, I don't think you can really open it, open it. Um, it's cute though. So let's get Frankie out here. I really do like that Mattel gave um, the opportunity for a fan of Monster High to do the artwork for this toy line. I think that's really neat. And I really hope that they continue to do that in the future. Now with this Frankie, they instead of their usual plastic, they actually did some string here. Um, so you want to be really careful when cutting it because the string is holding some of the hair in. You want to be careful you don't accidentally cut the hair. I've made that mistake quite a few times. I'm not happy about it because I cut quite a bit of hair off. I'm going to have to brush the hair to hide where it's been accidentally cut. Okay. Well, now she is out of the box. So. Now let's do a little bit of look, looking at her, huh? Okay. She has candy shoes. Um, the part that goes up the leg is not attached to the actual shoe, I don't think. Actually, yes, it is. Okay, it is attached to the actual shoe. So it might make removing the shoes a little hard. Um, but it does, it does look really neat. Um, there is the shoe for you. She's got painted on gloves, um, one black, one red. Kind of reminds me of Harley Quinn a little bit. Um, her hair is normal Frankie hair, except there's some red in it to go along with those sweet screams. She has a little poof up top that's rubber banded. Um, she has the cute little sweet screams, kind of red, if you will. Her earrings are little candies. I'll take one out of her ear to show you. Yeah, Monster High earrings do come out. Um, I don't know if you, how well you guys can see this, but there's it's a little candy. And um, Monster High earrings do come out of the Monster High dolls. They have little holes in the ears that they can slide in and out of so that you can change the earrings out. So she has a little tie that's candy. Her jacket. Um is velcroed on. She has a little belt and then she has the sweet screams dress which has a little bit of a under it has an underskirt here with um a little bit of glitter fabric. I really think this doll is super adorable. Um I think it's a great addition to any collection really and I really suggest if you can get it, get it. Um because it's just, it's too cute for words, really. Plus, you also are purchasing, you're also getting some really awesome artwork from Rotodisc, and um, you're supporting an artist, and it's just, it's just great. I love, I love her. 
Um, I think she's just fantastic, and I really suggest you all go up and go and get your own Sweet Screams Frankie to add to your collection.